Today is a very, very super fantastic day for a number of reasons. For one, we're going to play Magic, and that's always fun. And Austin has a new deck that was doing exceedingly well yesterday. I'm putting together a new deck, and it's doing exceedingly well. And we got this letter. And this letter is from Chris and Ian with hearts. And in this letter is a fancy card with a bow. And what it is, is an invite to their wedding. They're getting married. The downside to this is that they're actually getting married on July 31st. And I will be in Tennessee then. You guys probably didn't know that. I'm going to Tennessee. Mallory's going too. We're going to Tennessee. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go to this wedding. Now, um, Alex lives too far away, and Taylor lives way too far away. But I think Dan may, be, may attend, so um, he may attend and film it or something, so maybe there's a chance that you guys will be able to see it or something like that. The best thing that's happening today is that Mallory is going to get her camera. For those that are unaware, Mallory has wanted a DSLR camera forever, and she has had her eye on the T2i. And uh, now that everything has fallen into place, monetarily and otherwise, it's time to go get the T2i. That's a Rocco. Mallory is very happy because we have purchased the T2i and a 16 gig memory card, which set her back quite a bit. But on the plus side, it's uh, one of the, the better cameras that is out right now, and it's pretty new. It's only a few months old, so it's it's very nice. She could probably go on and on about the features and stuff, but she's the photographer. But Anyway, I'm really excited because if you guys aren't aware, the T2i has an amazing video feature that is really, really good. If you're familiar with the work of the 7D and the 5D, the T2i has the exact same video capabilities. Uh, you should just go on YouTube, which is where you're at now, and uh, go up to the search box and type in uh, 7D 24P or 5D 24P. Um, you will find some videos that look really nice, and uh, T2i is capable of that, so really awesome. To give you a little perspective, the season finale of House was filmed on a Canon 7D, or 5D, I think it was a 7D. The T2i has the same video features and functions as that does. So essentially, Mallory has the capability to film a season finale of House, or something. So I guess you want to take some pictures? Yes, I do. Mallory just got everything opened up, looking at everything. Setting up her camera. And I love the Andy Griffith show, yeah! But anyway, Mallory's going to take her first picture and it's going to be of me! I get to be special! This is really cool because I'm in the mirror and you're in it. First picture. You like it? Yes. Is it your baby? It is my baby. Um, it's a play of land. Um, right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, hi. Hi. I just got a new one. Oh yeah, because yours broke? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I talked to you on the yeah. phone that one night about it. That was fun. You we, won. In the semifinals, me and Mallory were playing each other, and I barely, barely beat her. She did very well. Um, but then, Jeremy, who was using my soldier deck, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that, but Jeremy, um, came and played with us, and he used my white soldier deck, which doesn't even have a sideboard. Also, now you can see me. I mean, he came, and he used that deck, and he actually progressed all the way to the semifinals, which was very, very good. In his semifinal match, they actually tied, and whenever Chad put the information into the computer, um, 
it actually said that based on my standings, I already had first, so I actually didn't play any final round. I just got first, which kind of sucked because I wanted to try the deck against someone, but it didn't happen. So Jeremy ended up losing the next round, so I got first, and then the other guy, Zach, got second, and then Jeremy got third. And Austin did manage to top eight, but what unfortunately happened is that me and him went head-to-head -head in the, the quarterfinals, the court, semi-quarter, whatever. Whenever you go to top eight, the first cut, the quarterfinals, I guess. That really sucked because we would rather play each other, you know, later on. And um, pretty much what it boils down to is if he can get Persecutor out on turn four, I have a very hard time. Um, but I did use my sideboard pretty effectively and I managed to do very well. So... I don't know, maybe that should be taken into consideration, but uh, otherwise his deck does do very well, and I think that if he wouldn't have played me, he probably would have progressed very, very well, but that's just something that we'll have to see in two weeks from now, because next week we're doing a draft, because next week M11 comes out, and I am super thrilled. I know there's magic people that watch this. What are your thoughts on M11? What are the cards that you're most hyped about? What are you going to try and get? Um, how do you think the set's going to be? Um, do you think it's going to affect the constructed environment a lot? Do you think it's going to be more fun to um, do it in a limited format versus, like, the Zendikar block? What's your so. favorite mana color? <laughs> right now we're going home. Uh, we got out a lot earlier than we usually do, despite there still being 12 people. And I think that's largely because our decks went a lot faster. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... Go eat some lasagna. Eat some lasagna and chill. It's a good night. First place. Fourth place. Top four all the time. Yay.